Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? My name is Kent, and I talk every evening about the EOS blockchain, uh, generating new uh, information about the EOS blockchain every single day. So if you're uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, I appreciate you coming back, and uh, let's talk a little bit about EOS. Let me go first of all to uh, Gecko Coin. Let's see where prices are at tonight. Actually, a pretty flat day. So nothing new going on. Let me see how it's going with the with the majority of coins. Um, yeah, it looks like kind of an off day for the markets. But what I wanted to talk about a little bit tonight is I want to talk about uh, the scamming that's going on with EOS, the phishing scamming that's going on with EOS. And one of the one of the ways that people are losing EOS is by going to a fake fake Telos site. And of course, we've talked about this before, and other YouTubers have talked about this also. And having, um, and actually what happens, I'll show you what happens. What happens is, uh, like right here, I'm, I'm um, uh, and let me see if I can explain this easily. Um, with EOS, we have a way to have our accounts preserved on our, our individual computers, safely on our individual computers, with a with the with a program called Scatter. So what happens is when you originally set up your Scatter, you're going to give Scatter your private key, and then Scatter is going to store your private key and create an identity for you. And what happens is that identity is going to be able to be displayed across the internet without you re-entering your private key every time you go to one of these applications. And these are all the applications that Scatter. When Scatter, when you come to any one of these applications it's going to ask for scatter because it's going to pull scatter up because and the way it works is in the coding or actually in the code of these uh, of these different websites these applications there's going to be a little bit of code it's called java it's got javascript code that's going to 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 look for scatter so it's going to as as it opens up on your browser it's going to look for scatter so every one of these is going to be uh, a link to scatter so as you uh, you open up and I'll show you let me see if I can find one here um, let's just go to one of these, any one of these. Uh, let's go to Tribe, because I usually go on Tribe quite a bit. Uh, where is Tribe? I can't find it. Hmm. Tribe, where is Tribe? We can go to Blocks, uh, Blocks uh, it's an Explorer, Blocks Explorer. So if I go to this, and I don't have Scatter on this computer right now because, uh, I'm updating, and actually, a lot of times I just go to the command line anyway, so I usually don't use Scatter. But if I came to this and I wanted to log into my account, I'm going to get a pop up here, and the pop up's going to be Scatter, and it's going to, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to verify my identity, or it's going to ask me to actually log in. And when it logs in, then that is, I'm going to verify my identity, and that's going to interface with Box.io, so I don't have to put my private key in in order to interact with that. The reason they do this is because they're trusting Scatter. Scatter software, scatter security, rather than having to identify identities on their own. So this is a convenient way to go to a number of different applications running with the EOS blockchain, where you don't have to re-enter your information, and it's and it's all contained and all taken care of through Scatter, which is fine, uh, unless there's a problem. And this is what's going on right now. What's going on right now is when the pop-up from Scatter shows up and you verify your identity, you may get one of these, uh, which is a, it's called um, auth, uh, an update authorization. Uh, this is what this is what it is. This is what you need to be careful of. So when Scatter appears, and, and Scatter can appear, all they need to do is use that little piece of code that Scatter gives you to put it into their website. So when that website gets pulled up, Scatter automatically appears. And if you see this update, authorization, update auth. If you see this, don't click on it. In fact, right here, uh, they say danger, displays for dangerous actions like up auth. Don't don't click on that. So, so if that appears and it wants you to go ahead and do that, do not do it. Stay completely away from it. The other thing you really got to be careful of here is you got to be careful that when um, – when you that you gotta you gotta make sure that when you're on a site, that it's actually a site. There's tribe. See, here we go. 
So if I go to Tribe right now, and uh, it gives me some information about my account, but I'm not logged into this right now because I'm, I'm not on this account right now. Um, I actually need to go log in with Scatter. See right here is Scatter, and I'm not logged into this right now. Even see, I'm, even if I push on Scatter, I'm not going to get the pop-up from Scatter, even though it's trying to call up Scatter and it's asking me to log in with Scatter. I'm not on Scatter, so I'm not logged in with Scatter, and so it's not popping up. But if it did pop up, and then in Scatter asked me for this authorization update, that's where you got to be careful. That's where you don't want to click on that. That's where you do not want to authorize an update. Because if you do, then whoever has control of that will be able to change your, 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 your keys. So they'll be able to change your owner active key and be able to take over your account. So, so be careful of this. This was a release 13 days ago, this owner authorization. Um, so 13 days ago, Scatter, Nathan James released this. And be careful of it. Whenever you see this associated with Scatter, please don't click on it. Don't look at it. Get out of there as quickly as possible because that's something that could cause you to lose your EOS account. So anyway, I want to give you a quick notice of that. I saw this update. I'll put a link for it below, and you can take a look at it for yourself. But uh, but all these applications are running Scatter. And um, any, anytime uh, new applications come up, then they will be here in this list too. So you can look at this too. So anyway, be careful. A lot of scams out there. A lot of people taking advantage of people. Uh, and they're using, um, unfortunately, um, the, the, the synchronization with Scatter to do that. So be careful and, and, and be careful of having anything that has to do with Scatter and any kind of authorizations or updates or anything like that. And uh, be wary. Be, be very wary of what's, uh, what's out there because there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of people that are losing a lot of uh, money. And they're also very clever in how they do it, and they're getting away with it. So be careful. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.